pornography affects us by dehumanizing people. Um, and that's one, what one of the girls who shared her testimony said. She said, I, I realized after a while I was not recognizing the image of God in people because I was just seeing them as naked bodies. When I would walk along the street, I just see them as sexual objects and I'll compare my body with their body and see if I'm sexier or they are sexier. I was listening to this lady who works with um, sex trafficking victims and she said, you know, it's so different when you watch porn on a screen, but when you're there, you realize that when the camera is off, off the screen, the girl is actually being fought by a gun, with a hit of a gun, to perform this sexual act. It changes everything. It changes the way you view porn. It, 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 it changes the way you, you realize how you're consuming something has dehumanized someone else. Um, and when, when young women realize that, it's almost like a, a light bulb moment. Like, wow, this is bigger than my sexuality, my, consumption, this affecting someone and, and you know girls, we are very generous we're very empathetic, we love to help people and, and sometimes that is actually a good motivation for young women to stop their addiction. At SEC4 like, um, towards the end like after my exams and everything, I just sat down and I was just like, you know what I think my parents and everybody around me is right and this is wrong and I cannot um, continue this cycle any longer because it's really not good for me and I just don't want to feel that guilt over and over again and I already know that's wrong so I had to make the decision to stop and there will be urges and I had to find myself um, like stopping right before I clicked on that next video or that Instagram story or post and it was a tough journey and um, I've managed to journey through and there are still temptations and it really did help to know like my triggers and um, to yeah avoid the sources as much as possible. Uh, many of us who are in pornography uh, will be we have shame and uh, perhaps when we look at how God is looking at us we say God doesn't like us and in fact I have uh, one person with tears streaming down, telling me that actually, I, I think God hates me. But the reality is that our Lord and King Jesus he has come. And the way that He seeks out the Samaritan woman is how we should see Him. How, how do He see the Samaritan woman is how He's actually looking at us if you are struggling with a pornography. So that is the good news, that's the best news. And we are to be like the prodigal son, we are to return to the Father. Right? We, we must return to the Father so that we can receive His embrace, we can receive His grace.